Good evening, I'm Melissa Francis. We are celebrating American success tonight. We are live at CNBC's Executive Leadership Awards in New York City. The full show airs at 9 p.m. on Monday, and tonight we are hearing from the best and the brightest CEOs who control America's skies to the CEOs that make everyday products. It's all big money, and we are on it. Thanks so much. Tonight, CNBC is celebrating excellence in executive leadership, and one of those being honored is the founder and former CEO of Southwest Airlines, Herb Kelleher. Her first congratulations on your award. You started you, the Rosa. airline uh, with three planes in the 70s. You had 33 consecutive profitable years. Could you do it all again from the beginning in this climate, do you think? Well, I think that we could because of the devotion and loyalty and dedication of our people. Uh, they're really the ones that accomplished it, and we gave them the latitude to do so. In other words, we said, hey, just be yourself. You don't have to be an automaton when you come to work. You don't have to put on a mask. So what we we're really providing, I think, was psychic satisfaction to our employees. And it's amazing how creative and ingenious and dedicated and hardworking and participative that makes people. So much has changed in the airline business in that time. What do you think is the biggest challenge right now? Well, we've changed a lot, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think uh, the airline industry would be in good shape. Overall, seriously, uh, were it not for the precipitous increase in jet fuel prices, because really, you think that's have, the biggest hurdle? Oh, that's the biggest hurdle because you know the the the, the companies that gone into Chapter 11, uh, they've gotten the concessions from their employees. Their costs are substantially lower than they were. Uh, Gerard Arpey and American did that without going into Chapter 11, by the way. And the only thing that has retarded them from reporting excellent profits is jet fuel prices. Hmm. What do you think about all the consolidation in the industry? Are all the deals good or bad? Well, I'll tell you what, listen, we're a wallflower as far as consolidation goes. Yeah. Uh, we don't either support it or oppose it. Really? How come? Well, we're just uh, kind of skulking around the edges. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to let you get away with that. Wait to see come what on. happens. I mean, one way, is it better to have fewer airlines? Or will it help them get healthy, do you think? Well, as a company, we're kind of non-denominational on that score. All right. I guess I'll let you get away with it. What's the hardest <laughs> part? Yeah, what's the hardest part of being a CEO since we're at the Executive Leadership Awards here? Well, I think the hardest part of it is the responsibility that you take for the livelihood uh, of your people, uh, for their food, their houses, their cars, the education of their children. I think that is the heaviest responsibility that you have because you don't want to let any of them down because you realize that that's a catastrophe in their lives. And one of the things that I'm proudest of is that in the 35 years Southwest Airlines has been operating, there have been over a million layoffs and furloughs in the airline industry, and Southwest has not had one. That's amazing. What, what advice would you give to other CEOs? I'm not so presumptuous. You must have one piece of advice. <laughs> no, I really don't. You don't? Yeah. All right, well, we're at, we're at I mean, I've never pretended to be a messiah. <laughs> 33 profitable years. You 34 must have now. Some, there you go. Yeah. You must have some we just clocked nugget another of one. wisdom. <laughs> all right, I'll ask you another one then. We're here at this cocktail party. Everyone's trapped at these things all the time. What's your best cocktail party conversation starter or joke? <laughs> I'll tell you off camera, okay? <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Wonderful to be we with you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Big news from Johnson & Johnson today.